It is night three of the Republican National Convention and Donald Trump is back in Cleveland. We've got a live look inside the convention hall. It is mostly quiet right now. Tonight's program gets underway in about an hour. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana is live in Cleveland with a look at what's in store for tonight. Lauren. Elliot, there was a pretty intense protest outside the Quicken Loans Arena just a short time ago, but inside, as you mentioned, all is quiet here now as the delegates slowly start trickling in in anticipation of the big speeches of the night. They tell me they're interested in hearing from people like former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, as long, along with Senator Ted Cruz, and of course, the party's nominee for Vice President, Indiana Governor Mike Pence. Donald Trump touches down for day three of the RNC. His VP pick, Indiana Governor Mike Pence, waiting to greet him at Burke Airport in Cleveland. It is such an honor to join your family to welcome you to Cleveland. Governor Pence is scheduled to address the convention tonight. Here he is rehearsing his speech on the massive stage inside the Quicken Loans Arena this morning. Now you have two job creators who understand economies and how economies work and know how to put deals together, who know how to move the dial in the direction that the American people believe is, it helps them. But the pick is not without controversy. First, Trump made it official via Twitter. Then came the issue of Pence's voting record over the war in Iraq, an issue Trump has constantly bashed Hillary Clinton over. His senior political advisor in Florida says that's not a problem. I don't expect that anyone, um, who, including Hillary Clinton, who's running for office, the highest office in the land, is going to pick a running mate that is going to agree 100% with everything that the top of the ticket believes. Now that the Republicans have their number two lined up, focus turns to the Democrats and whose Secretary Clinton will choose to join her on the ticket. I think there will be a tremendous amount of excitement around it. Unlike the Republicans who uh, you know, almost hung their heads in shame, uh, what, uh, the, uh, Donald Trump specifically, and uh, the sheepishness with which they rolled out their, their choice. And uh, Just taking a look at the Secretary's schedule in the next coming days, she's going to be in Florida, Orlando, Tampa, Miami, so all signs point to a VP announcement announcement possibly happening in the Sunshine State. What does that say about the importance of Florida? Well, what it says about the importance of Florida is that we're, we're so excited that, uh, that Secretary Clinton is, uh, is coming down to Florida on Friday and Saturday. She'll be making a swing through the state. Um, looking forward to joining her. And, uh, and it's going to be a very key sign about how important the state of Florida is. We are the biggest of battleground states. You know, the, the way Florida goes, so goes the nation. And there will be plenty of Florida on stage tonight. Florida Governor Rick Scott will speak, as well as Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi and Senator Marco Rubio will deliver a video message to the crowd. Live in Cleveland, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.